welcome back to Not Your Average Glow Up. This is a safe place where we come and we talk all things mental health related. If you're new here, welcome to the family. It's wonderful to have you. And if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. That means the absolute world to me. Today, I wore this top intentionally because I have one tattoo. Um, this specific tattoo has nothing to do with this video, but I'm going to explain why I'm talking about it. So this tattoo is a mandala. A mandala is a symbol of the universe. It doesn't have super significant meaning to me. I just got it because I was on a journey to get to know myself better. And um, to me, to get to know yourself better is to better understand the universe. So that's what this tattoo means. The reason I bring that up is because I have a few different tattoos that I want. My next one that I'm going to be getting is going to be simple, sweet, to the point, and that's today's video topic. It is dream bigger. Now you might say, Sam, what the heck a Rooney does this have to do with mental health? Well, let me tell you, dear. I usually drink tea during my videos. Um, Today I'm drinking coffee and it's lukewarm because I have four kids and I have not yet finished my morning cup of coffee. So, cheers. Our entire lives, especially as young adults and young children, we're told you can't do that. That's not realistic or that's dangerous or that's that's too big or that'll never happen or come on, dream a little bit more realistically here. But I've been thinking that that's completely wrong. And I challenge you today, if you're a parent, I am, to quit stifling your children's dreams and creativity instead of telling them that, the, oh, that's too big of a dream or that'll never happen or that's too dangerous or that's too this or that's whatever, allow your children to dream. Because I've learned in my spiritual, mental, emotional walk that our dreams, what we picture our life to be, is what sparks the interest and the passion within us to be beautiful humans, to be world changers, to do amazing and wonderful things. And it's people who tell us that'll never happen, that's crazy, that's ridiculous, that's absurd, that's too dangerous, that's, it's never been done before. Those are the people that quite frankly live miserable lives. I had many dreams growing up. Dreams of, I don't know, I, th I think my first like real life aspiration in life was like, Free, and I wanted to probably be like a princess or something like that. And you, you know, as a kindergarten teacher, or whatever, you hear a dream like that and you just kind of giggle and, oh, that's cute. But what if somebody says, I want to be the first woman president? So he goes, oh, well, that'll never happen. That's, it's never been done before. It can't be done before. And then nothing changes in this world. You see, I'm sure President Obama had that dream where I'm gonna be the first black president. And I'm sure there's many people that told him he was insane, that it's crazy and it'll never happen. But it did. And because of that, the world changed. Now, this is not a political channel. If you didn't like President Obama or whatever, you're entitled to your opinion, blah, blah, blah. That was one example. I'm sure the first person that ever wanted to see space, they were told, you're absurd, that's crazy, you can't even breathe in outer space. Like, that's, that's absolutely insane. Why would you ever want to do that? That's so dangerous. It's so, what is that going to do? How is that going to change? And now look at the technology and the information that we have and the science that's been developed from astronauts going and studying space. You see, 
when Martin Luther King Jr. said, I have a dream, I'm sure people thought he was insane. Like, oh my gosh, who is this man daring to dream these big and exciting and elaborate dreams that blacks and whites and Hispanics and Asians and people all around the world could walk hand in hand and be united and that's absurd. But he had that dream and he dared to dream that, that dream. So why is it then that when we're young, our parents, our teachers, our friends, even strangers, we say things like, one day, I'm going to be a famous musician and I'm going to own a Ferrari and I'm going to live in a mansion. And somebody goes, that'll never happen. I mean, look at NF, Eminem, Caucasian American white rappers. I'm sure people looked at them like they were absolutely silly when they said they had a dream of being a rapper. But how is the world going to change? How is anything in life that's beautiful ever been made without a dream? This is such a silly, lighthearted, fun video. But think of all the great inventions in the full world. Think of all the beautiful architecture of the world. Think of all the art in museums. Think of all the beautiful songs that have ever been written. Those were all by beautiful, amazing, creative artists. And what is art but a dream? So my challenge to you today is think of your childhood dreams, that those things that you wanted to do, and think of Will it add to the world? Will it better the world? Will it bring me to my higher self and my higher purpose? Will it help me make a positive impact on this world in some way? Will it fill me with joy? Will it give me hope and inspiration to create a better and more beautiful life for not just me, but for everyone? And if the answer is yes, I want you to chase that dream. And then I want you to pretend that you're going through a drive through I want you to supersize it. Because something that I've learned in my walk is that God, the universe, whatever you believe in, the universe's plan for you is so much bigger and better than you could ever imagine. You say, I have a dream of having a happy and a beautiful family and marriage. And I have this dream of, you know, having a husband that loves me and cares for me the way I deserve to be loved and this, that, and the other. And that's good enough for you. And then God is like, okay, well, I'm going to take that and I'm going to supersize it. See, He's like, I'm going to take that love and that lesson that you've learned, and now I'm going to bless you to be missionaries so you can share that love that you've learned, and then it's going to create a ripple effect, and then this person's going to learn to love like that, and then this person's going to love like that. So I dare you to take your dream, supersize it, and dream bigger. If you have parents in your life who have told you that can never happen, or you're not good enough, or that's too scary, or that's absurd, or you're crazy. If it's a beautiful dream, if it'll make you a better, happier person, if it'll impact this world in some way, I dare you, I triple dog dare you, chase that dream and dream bigger. That's my video for today. Short, sweet, and simple. But I hope it touched somebody today. Hope someone in this world needed to know that it is perfectly okay to chase your dreams. 
but it's more than okay. That it is beautiful and it's wonderful and that's how the world has changed and that's how you stay happy and healthy. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for coming back. Bye.